Oh, well, there is no question to the influence of African talent on leading football leagues around the world. Now, esports or professional gaming competitions are being set alight by more blazing young gamers from our shores. And he's in his mid teens. We're about to introduce you to one of our fiercest, most successful competitors. Hi, my name is Tabo Muloy. I am 16 years old and I'm a professional gamer. In the beginning, the parents of this dynamo had a problem with him playing, day in and day out. But once they saw it held potential for his future, they supported him. My love for gaming began eight years ago when I started playing with my friends and stuff, so that's interesting to play online. Then I met a lot of people that want to be gamers and just like became friends, so I thought I should become a gamer too just to see what happens. And now, today, I'm a professional esports player and I'm proud. Making money from something that is a hobby of mine is quite cool and interesting and beneficial at the same time because it's what I do every day. So to say that I'm making money from it, it's quite like a nice thing and it's a nice feeling. Buying data each week so he could compete online was costly, but allowed him to hone his skill and strategy. With his good friend Ubed to spar with, he became a real contender. As my first time in a major tournament, I felt nervous because I never really thought I'd go far and win the tournament, but I did it and it's a great feeling. I didn't like believe that I won the tournament. Anyone can do it if I can do it. And I felt like excited and I made my family proud and happy and now I I could finally give back to them. Winning 400,000 Rand was a game changer, but arguably more valuable has been earning the respect of and place in the Goliath family. And Goliath Gaming is a, an NGO, which is a multi gaming organization in the realm of esports. Well, that's the official term, but I mean, it's essentially competitive gaming. What Goliath Gaming is, is a place where professional players that are, that are chasing the ambition of being the best, of, best in the world at their discipline, um, in whatever video game it may be. What motivated us uh, to sign Tabo is quite simple. We've always prided ourselves in trying to get the best possible talent that we can. And there's no other reason than, than, than him winning the most previous and prestigious tournament. It was the VS Gaming Festival tournament, which got him a, a spot overseas to compete against the world's best. And I mean, the rest is history. Is he, he managed to, to win that competition, upset a lot of really, really good players. And I mean, it's as simple as that. Generally speaking, we are a little bit behind. Um, we, there is a, a certain skill gap uh, between us and, and the overseas talent. But I mean, most recently, one of our FIFA players, Julio, uh, competed against the world's best in the, in the FIFA Global Series playoffs and actually managed to beat one of the world champions. And it kind of brought light to the fact that I think our FIFA community in South Africa is, is, is really, really up there in comparison to the rest of the world. What motivated me to pursue a career in esports is basically my love and my passion for football. I play real football, so just to do that on the virtual side of things and to compete against top, top players and to use or to control these virtual players is just outstanding because the love of the game will always be there. The journey has been absolutely amazing. I think to be included in a family like Goliath Gaming is something special and completely unique. I've been overseas and I've qualified, I've been top 15 in the world, qualified for Amsterdam where I've played in a Global Series playoff, the FIFA World Cup. I beat the two-time world champion. That for me is something absolutely amazing. It's just something that I cannot explain. My training routine usually consists of playing top players in South Africa. So like we train each other skills and tricks on how to get better at the game. So that one day when we face the top players, we know what to do. My goal is to finish school and finish my university and become an IT specialist and maybe one day I could win the World Cup. To the names Khadebe, McCarthy, Weir and Drogba, another kind of African footballing legend may soon be added.